This is your host, Quasar Spell, and welcome to Let's Play Guacamele Gold Edition. Yeah, I bought this game at a discount on Steam and fell in love with it in a heartbeat. I thought I'd show you guys what I mean and try to convince you to buy it, maybe. It's a really fun game, but hey, you don't have to take just my word for it. Let's get started. We're going to be playing the game on normal difficulty. I will be erasing the save data I had. Oh, I did so many things, but I'm going to not regret that because I'm going to have fun all over again. Are you home, Juan? Juan, wake up. Juan! Uh, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, sheesh. Wake guy up early in the morning. Got a lot of weights around here. What's up? You're finally awake. Noon is upon us. The sun is at its zenith. Wait, the sun's at its zenith. You know, I don't know what the word zenith means, so I'm just going to take your word for it. But a festival is coming up, so we need to actually help this guy out and uh, go to the church to mostly do some chores and such, being an aguave farmer and all. Casa de Juan. Already the mood is just so beautiful with its atmosphere. Again, I'm just going to say it right now, people, I love this game, and I'm sorry if I just comment on something for the heck of it, because... Oh boy, where do I begin? The happy songs in this game. Pollo Rojo. Don't be a chicken, try it. I'm actually not one for alcohol. I just a story I could bring up. I'm actually not someone who drinks too often, so I wouldn't... No, <laughs> I don't drink too much tequila. I don't drink anything. Hola, Juan. Thanks for coming to help. I'm trying to clear out some space in here, where we're expecting people to come over from all over for the festival. Even El Presidente's daughter has returned from La Universidad de Santa Lucita. Enough gossip! Could you bust up those empty wine barrels over in the corner? Why do you just have so many empty wine barrels stacked up in a corner? Plus, I believe now we have to clean that up. Well, never mind. Game physics tell it to disintegrate. What strength? I knew you had it in you. El Presidente's daughter always said she saw your potential as well. Such a nice girl. I'm so glad that El Ambassador's son is out of the picture. Him and El Cabinet Minister's wife. What a scandal! Aren't you a monk or something? <laughs> Do you really? Should you really be talking about all these different, you know, gossip stories going on around here? Juan, Frey asked me to stop by today. I didn't expect you to be here. Juan, you look so. Remember when we were kids? We used to get into so much trouble together. Wow, that feels like so long ago. It might have been. You've really grown up! Anyway, Frey, I found those chairs you were asking about. I'll bring them over later. Juan, could you come by the mansion and help, and help me carry them? I'd really love to spend some time with you. If you want, maybe we could even go to the festival together. I should go. Hope to see you later, Juan! Bye, Frey! Hey, Juan! Didn't you hear what she just said? Now's your chance! Oh, ho, 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 this is better than watching my telenovelas! Ah! How many times do I have to tell those kids not to play with fireworks? What was I saying? Yes! El Presidente's daughter, you should really go see her. Well, I think I should go see her. Kind of straightforward. Literally, it's a 2D plane. There's only two directions. Straight. Hey, Juan, what's up? Some chairs for the festival? Sure, I'll just... Ay, Dios mio! El Presidente's mansion is on fire! Do something, Juan! By the way, I must say to the audience members, I know no Spanish whatsoever. I think all my pronunciations just come from things I picked up from people who actually can speak Spanish around me. Oh, so someone is trying to play hero. You're far from the fields, Aguave boy. This is no place for you. Juan, run now before this ugly skeleton gets you too! 
what do we have here? I sure wouldn't mind melting those eyes off your skull. Grand Kalaka, it would be my pleasure to get rid of this intruder. Leave this one to me, flame face. I could use a bit of action today. Silencio! If Jaguar Javier were here, he could be trusted to handle this. Unfortunately, he's occupied. I'll get rid of this puny Chimador myself. The living world may have chosen to forget me once, but I won't give them a choice this time. I, Carlos Calaca, ruler of the dead world, and you, you're not even a luchador. Prepare to die. <laughs> I could take you. Nah. Okay, I'm about to show you my wind-up punch, man. You're just gonna... Oh, that hurt. No! Well, I, have to, I have to say that was pretty cheap. Uh, uh, it's okay, I was only face down in water. It's clear that I'm a lot. Wait, this is the world of the dead. Ah, dang it. Well, I guess I'm dead. I wonder if I can start a new life here. Or, I guess, should I start a new death here. What do I do now that I'm dead? Well, I guess the guaves have to die eventually, and we can pluck those and eat those, but wouldn't that kill them? Where do dead guaves go when they die? Again. Oh well, I guess it's not important because... Hello there! Greetings, Juan. I am Tostada, Guardian of the Mask. How interesting that the mask has revealed itself to you. Kalaka has thrown the universe out of order. You must have some role to play. If you put this mask on, Juan, its power will bring you back to the world of the living. Are you ready? Nah, I'm pretty good here. I already discussed my plans for an Aguave farm of the dead. Well, I guess if it teleports in front of my face, that means yes. It's go time. Psst! Luchador! Over here! The town is under attack by evil skeletons! They've locked everybody in the church. I fear they intend to burn it to the ground. Please save us! Before you go, a tip. If you ever want to check your current objective, hit back! Now please, go save the town! I'll keep pretending to be a barrel. Now a second player may join, but I seem to be alone. Sad Q is suddenly sad. Get back! Fiend! Help! Help! You there! Luchador! Save me from this Esqueleto! Uh, or is it Esqueleto? No, I guess it wasn't he. That's right, Luchador! Left hook, right hook! Beat him up! Alright, time for some combat. Well, that was fast. Thank you, my son. But we aren't safe yet. They've locked all the townsfolk in the water closet. Help us, we're scared. It smells gross in here. Ay ay ay, here they come. Okay. Well, I can't seem to open the door yet. Uh, do one of you guys have the key? Nah, I guess I'm just gonna have to beat the heck out of you. So, uh, dude, how'd you actually get up there? Sorry, one sec. This will only take a moment. So, as I was saying... As I was saying... Ah, fine. How, how did he get up there? He seems to be up on the roof raptors or something. Oh, I keep missing that uppercut. Silly me. I must say, it's been like, what, three months since I last played this game? Oh, at last we're safe. You've saved the day! Now please, free the townsfolk from the water closet. Eh, I think I'll just... I'll oh, fine. I can't thank you enough for what you've done here today, Luchador. Still, I worry for the safety of El Presidente and his family. Look for clues in Santa Luchita. I think some of the evil Esqueletos were headed that way. Godspeed, Luchador. The world is in need of your help. Well, if you say so. 
nickname? Well, you have an exclamation point above your head, so you're clearly important. The way you dealt with those skeletons was magnifico. Perhaps you could help me with a small problem of mine. My home has been overrun with chickens. I don't know what I don't know how, but they escaped from their pen. Do whatever it takes. Just get them back into their pen. Punch them, throw them, it's okay. My chickens are the toughest around. And with that, we are given our first quest. To help this man clear his home of chickens. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of chickens. Alright, this is pretty simple. Just just keep punching them until... Uh, just until you can throw them and get them to the top layer. If you can have them run up the stairs, that works too. You just mostly want to get them on that third floor. Uh, then once you have them all on the third floor, just get behind them once they're red. And they'll run the opposite direction. When they're running the opposite direction, they'll, they'll just run right into the pen. They can't jump over it. And with that, mission accomplished. Gosh, that house will be noisy. I hate... <laughs> I would hate to raise chickens. Gracias, senor. Finally, order is restored to mi casa. Here, I noticed that one of the skeletons that came through town dropped this. Hopefully, it's of use to you. And with that, we get our first heart... I think it's a health chunk, heart chunk, one of them. Uh, well, I don't think anyone else in town will prove useful to us, so we're just going to move on to the forest. Heading heading over there and seeing what we could do. Ah, so many stairs. Ah, fat guy's worst enemy stairs. Thank goodness Juan is freaking ripped. Can you imagine if this game was entirely about a... F a huge, humongous, fat guy trying to, like, hobble upstairs beating up guys. I mean, coming from... I'm actually overweight myself, so I'm actually thinking, Wow! This is... Now that I think about it, that would be awesome if I could do things like this suddenly if a mask gives me huge rip muscles. Ah, red skeletons. They basically throw slow-moving projectiles that you can avoid with a lot of ease. Just make sure you, well, avoid them. I know that's kind of obvious, but I meant make sure you take them out first. Because uh, if there's a lot of them on the screen, they can overwhelm you pretty easily. Uh, grab. I love throwing things. We'll actually get some new throws later in the game as well. Stop right there, Luchito. Orders of Carlos Calaca. I warn you, take one more step and it will be your demise. What's that? You want to know who I am? Sure. You seem like an honorable Luchito, so I will answer your question. My name is Jaguar Javier. I was once human like you. In my youth, I lived and trained in these very woods. I became a mythical warrior, serving noble kings and leading great armies to victory. But that was a long time ago. Now I serve Kalaka. The final days of Earth are upon us. I suggest you return home and spend them with the ones you love. So stubborn, this one. Luchador, you save the church and add more role in her feet, but your journey ends here. It pains me to so unceremoniously dispatch a warrior such as yourself, but you can't say I didn't warn you. Oh my, oh! Well, it's a good thing I'm invincible or that would have killed me. <laughs> and with that, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Guacamelee Gold Edition, we're going to be heading deeper into the forest to check out what secrets it holds and to get to the next town. Until then, this has been your host, Cosa Raspel, signing out. <laughs>